<sighs> I don't know how I feel about what I'm about to react to. I haven't heard it yet. <sighs> this could go either way with me because I'm not really a LeBron James fan. But I have to say this, and I know people are going to crucify me for this. He's black, I'm black. I mean, I'm black and white, but I'm black. I'm more black than anything. And people are going to be like, well, you need to be taking his side. You shouldn't be taking someone else's side that's not black. I already know that's how what a lot of people are going to see when they uh, see this reaction. And what think, whatever. It is what it is. I don't go off skin color. I go off facts. So, if a motherfucker come at me with facts, I don't care about the skin color. I've never been about that. I never will be about that until the day I die. But I do want to check this out because I follow Adam Calhoun now. And I heard he had some big shit to say about LeBron James. So, I got to definitely check this out. I apologize for the way I sound. Like I said, I'm sick. But I'm still trying to do these reactions, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to start listening to these artists talk and shit like that. React off that type of shit. See, the, you know, see, can I throw my little two cent in there, you know what I'm saying? So without further ado, let's go. Friends! I mean, I miss you guys. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the background for today. I'm in the middle of trying to build a podcast room and also start a podcast. Uh, but I want I had to speak on this today. I saw LeBron James who was an absolute pussy. Ooh, and uh, shots already. He, he said this and I, I got some shots fired already. Damn. Calling him a pussy. Damn, Adam is like that. I gotta definitely gotta finish listening to this. I'm gonna say, so so watch this real quick. I was wondering why I haven't gotten a question from you guys about the Jerry Jones photo. Uh probably because you're just an asshole. And the your opinion is not valid. You are a basketball player. You get paid to dribble a fucking ball. Jerry Jones, he's the Cowboys owner, I believe. Ball around. Back. Uh, probably because you're just an asshole. And your opinion is not valid. You are a basketball player. You get paid to dribble a fucking ball around. So if you guys don't know what LeBron is talking about, he's talking about Jerry Jones, who owns the Dallas Cowboys. Mm -hmm. And Jerry Jones was in a picture 60 years ago when he was like a teenager with a bunch of white dudes uh, blocking black people to come into a school or some type of building, I believe. And Jerry Jones is in that picture. Really? And fuck you, LeBron, that was 60 years ago. And times were different 60 years ago. Racism was uh, very much alive, and people still think it is today, which I don't believe, but whatever. That was 60 years ago. Time changes, people change, and you know what else? Time changes, people. I got a lot to say about that. I'm gonna wait till this is over. Well, our society has changed, and Jerry Jones owns the Dallas Cowboys and has done more for black people and black athletes than you will ever do in your whole entire fucking life. Pick me. P pick me. Me. I have a question, LeBron. Uh, you got paid a billion dollars from Nike. Do you know who makes Nike? A bunch of poor countries with poor people who are working in slave-like conditions. This is modern day slavery, concentration camps, unlivable situations to make Nike shoes. You got paid a billion dollars from Nike. So my question is, why don't you want to do anything for uh, human rights when it comes to these people making your shoes that you got paid a billion dollars for? That's the actual, real fucking issue that's going on right now, and you don't give a shit about that. You care about, you're a black dude, and some old ass white dude from a long time ago made a mistake as a kid. And now he's redeemed himself completely. He's an older man. Times have changed. But you want to talk about that shit, LeBron? You're a, you're a bitch ass dude. You will never be the GOAT, ever. Michael Jordan forever will be the GOAT. Yo. You're just some overpaid, overprivileged, overgrown fucking toddler who bitches about everything. And, and, and you, really, you can't even. Have you ever seen this guy play basketball with all his little flops and all? You're, you're a whiny little bitch. 
Go shut the fuck. Go play basketball and shut the fuck up. Go get your overpaid salary and play basketball and be quiet. Because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're ignorant. I wish everyone's grandpa was still alive. So they would go make you pick your own switch, bring it to him, and he'd tear your ass up. Oh, that was it. It was about to end. Oh. Oh. Sound like a kid now. Oh. Wow. Shots fire. Fuck that. Them ain't shots. Them fucking grunting. Missile launches at LeBron James. Damn. Okay. A few things I got to talk about. First, I'm going to get to LeBron James. Towards the end when he was talking about how LeBron... Like, every, I've been watching LeBron since he came into the league. He does cry a lot. He does complain a lot. He wants to be the GOAT so bad. That's all he talks about. He want to make sure people want to label him the GOAT. That's why he constantly brings it up. He wants to you know, put that in your head that he's the GOAT. Something Michael Jordan didn't do. I know it's a different time, but that is the truth. Calhoun was speaking facts on that. LeBron does cry a lot. He does flop a lot. He does a lot of shit, but he's great at what he does. He's a great basketball player. I do not put him number two. A lot of people got him two. Jordan 1, some people got Jordan 2 and LeBron 1, which is just craziness to me, because people don't really know basketball if they put LeBron ahead of Jordan, for real. And one thing I need to go off that, he played for 20 years. Stats going to add up over 20 years. It, it's just how it is. You can, you can be averaging 10 points a game, 3 assists a game, 2 rebounds over a 10-year period, 82-game season, you'll be in the top of all those statistics when your career is over. That's just how it is. Now, and a lot of records are getting broken today because a lack of defense. These players are just breaking records all over the place. For one, because these fucking three-point shots. Everyone shoots threes now. So it's easy to score in the league. Ain't no hard to knock, knock a motherfucker on their ass defensive players no more. It ain't. <coughs> but he does cry a lot. But he will never be number one. For one, Jordan cannot give people that won championships, yes, more than Jordan. But the man was 6-0. and 6-0. and Never went to a game seven. He was the MVP finals. I mean, the MVP of the finals six straight times. He even left for two years and came back. He's still in the top in points. So it is what it is. LeBron James, uh, you know, he passes the ball a lot. He gets his teammates involved. He's a friend to all these players. He doesn't have a killer instinct, but he is a great all-around player. I give him that. I got to keep checking on my daughter. But uh, as far as Jerry Jones, I don't know where to go with that because he is right. People do change over time, but people also don't change over time. Certain people get worse over time or stay the same. I don't care about none of them fucking owners. For one, did they get Colin Kaepernick another chance? No. They did not. He's still not in the league. So I can I don't care about the black or the white owners. I can give a fuck about either one of them. That's just how it is. Now if he was in the picture sixty years ago blocking black people from whatever he has said from maybe that was the kid in him he was ignorant as fuck or he didn't have no choice but to be that way depending on his surrounding you know you can compare that to like to being uh, that shit that happened with uh, Floyd when you had those other cops they were following the that white whatever his name is the guy that was in charge on that scene at that time they were doing what he was like telling them to do. They didn't have a choice. They were following orders. And if they didn't follow orders, you already know they would have got dealt with behind scenes, some shit we don't see. That's what a lot of people don't understand. It's it's a lot of codes. You know, motherfuckers go by these codes. A lot of street codes. It's a lot of like uh, cop codes, fireman codes. It's, it's codes. Motherfuckers go by codes. People don't believe that shit, but they do. Cops go by code. 
bleed blue. This is how it is. But uh, I don't know what Jerry Jones. I don't know the man. I, like I said, I don't know. But if he did that back in the day, it may still be in him a little bit. I agree with Adam Cahoon to us. Not all the way. Now, like, I do agree about LeBron. Uh, like I said, I'm a LeBron fan, but I think he's a crybaby. And as far as doing for the black community, yes, Jerry Jones has done a lot. That I know. I'm, I'm recording right now. He has done a lot, for real. But uh, like I said, that goes, that could go either way, y'all. Adam Calhoun, I'm with you, my man. I want, I want to say fuck LeBron like that. Not to. I, that's a tough one, man. It's a tough one. Like I said, that could go either way, man. Everyone has their opinions on shit. And I get why you're pissed off. Because LeBron always wants that attention. That's that's another thing I hate about him. He always wants attention. He always got to make sure he's heard. He always, like, jumping in business that he have, like, you. Like, what's name said? Adam Calhoun's. Sometimes let me know what the fuck he's talking about. He just want to get in it. He just want to make sure everyone know I'm LeBron. I'm LeBron James. I'm the king. I'm the GOAT. Fuck out of here. Well, hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all think. That was some serious shit, y'all, for real. That was some serious shit. I know I had to hear that shit. And now y'all know how I feel about it. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all feel about it. Please don't crucify me, y'all. Because I've been getting hit hard in the comments. Motherfuckers been coming at me, for real. Especially when I do these shorts. Because a lot of my shorts are blowing up now. And one of my shorts actually reached over 60,000 views. And I'm proud of myself for that. Over 60,000 views. I'm proud of myself. But I had a lot of shade. You know, some shady motherfuckers out there throwing, you know, they two sit in. Negative you know, it's all it's all good. I don't really care about that, you know what I'm saying? I kinda like that feedback. I like the negative and the positive, you know what I'm saying? So as always, until next time, y'all already know, like I said at the top of the screen. Peace.